Hello and welcome to a tutorial I have made on my mushroom, mushroom farm. The farm where you get mushrooms from mushrooms. As well as some uh, extra added bonuses like uh, cut a bit of steak on leather, as you do. I'm going to quickly do a quick showcase of how this thing actually works. So we'll grab some wheat. Yes, I know I just deleted it from my inventory. So you press the button. It then lets cows through. This top section here is just a run the mill uh, semi automatic cow breeder. So you can probably find a bunch of these on YouTube. But how it works, just for the sake of this video, is when the mushrooms get bred and pushed across here. Oh, there's a bit of entity collision there. Uh, they baby mushrooms just fall off the sign bar. They just get bread. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, don't right click that. And then just the baby mushroom drops out. So they once they fall down here, so this is the part that actually will matter for this, is they land in this little chamber down the bottom. Now, once they grow up, they will hit these gold pressure plates. I'm going to jump in here to show you guys. Once they hit the gold pressure plates, it will then uh, ship, drop lava, and shear them. Oh right, I accidentally destroyed this when I was uh, testing. There's meant to be lava in there. But these fire off nice and quickly and don't leave any lava behind. So, yeah, you just get all your drops. They'll just land down the bottom on a 3x3 three three platform. You can kind of do any collection thing you want. I've just done some grass blocks with some randomly placed minecart hoppers beneath them on top of normal hoppers which then go into the chests. You can also just do this a little bit simply by putting soul sand or some other block that isn't full but not too low down because you don't want the uh, mushrooms when they grow up not to hit these gold pressure plates. And then just place a bunch of hoppers beneath them in a 3x3 like I've done underneath the minecart hoppers. But that's essentially how it works, Now I'm going to show you how to build it. Now, I don't really want to go too in detail about how this bit up here works, as that's just a... I will show it off real quick though. So, press the button, it then turns it off. Press the button, and it turns it on. The key thing here is... Uh, button into monostable circuit, so it leaves the redstone block behind. The redstone signal from here just opens the fence gate. The other one goes into these dispensers to shoot the water. The key thing being is when the block moves right there, it will unpower for a second so it re-picks up the water when it retracts and then sends it back out when it's shot. And that's essentially it, as they just kind of go in a loop. So down here, I've got a cross section over here so I can show you how it works. So when the mushrooms grow up in the little 3x3 three three fenced in area they will activate on this pressure plate so the observer detects this block has been updated powering the block behind into the redstone dust redstone dust is then activated to all these dispensers hello wandering trader how are you and then also it fires into this block here the key thing being with the dispenser is it will power it activate this then unpower but really quickly this will pull it since they're powered at the same time the sticky piston will be pulled up and they will fire off another redstone signal when it gets in line as you can see here there's a very small delay uh, of the dispenser not being activated so it just fires off nice and quickly so nothing burns as for some reason I've noticed in the snapshot uh, when baby cows or mushrooms are up against a wall rather than fences, they will try and jump, which means they start activating the gold pressure plates, and the whole thing uh, isn't very good. Let's test it with a llama. <laughs> nope, oh, he's run off. He's pulled them away just in time. Yeah, so that's how the entire thing works. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And leave a comment down below if there's anything that I think that I might have missed. I don't usually do redstone tutorials but i want to get into them because it's pretty fun to be honest making your own stuff like this and just 
showing people who might not know what to do and that kind of thing. It's pretty fun. Also leave comments if you do know what you're doing and any improvements you might suggest to this design. Maybe I'll make a second version when the full release comes out. But for now, I hope you enjoyed. See you again next time.